So we have something new today. We have this autometer. It's like a speedometer kind of thing. And um, the tack has no no power. Okay. So we have the cables here. We'll just get red as VCC. Uh, white is the parking light. Okay, so we have the white. Um, green is the touch signal. Let's go with green. And the yellow light should power on, and then shut off when you apply the power, and then black is ground. So, let me just apply power and see what we get. I'm assuming it's 12 volts, so I'll put 12 volts and I'll just use, um, limit the current. So, down to about 800 milliamps, let's say. So, I'm going to test this out. Ground and VCC, and we're drawing two hundred milliamps. This is a, it's a little, little light. Interesting. The parking light, so the white one is the parking light. So that's working. Okay. So it's kind of don't know what's going on until we open this up. So let me let me open it here. get some you know, we have some bolts on the back I'm just gonna have a quick look I'm not a hundred percent sure if I can do anything this is uh, something new right but we can have a look right that's how you learn Learn by opening things up. Okay, so it's, it is sliding out. Okay, it does smell like something's burnt. Right. So those three contacts are for the the display, the autometer there, and it looks like we got a regulator. So need my multimeter here. And right now we're just doing a diagnostic. So. We'll just see if I can find anything broken or shorted. So let's try this one out. 
So this is not shorted, this one looks okay. This looks like some sort of regulator. That's okay. Looks. Just looking at these solder joints here. I'm gonna see if we get a connection from here to here. Okay. So from here it goes to this pin here. So that's fine, it's not a short or anything. Okay, how hard is it to disassemble this? Zero point zero six eight. I'm not sure if that's a problem or not. Oh, here we go. I think we may have found the issue. I do see a burnt ground line right in here. You can see that little piece of silver here the trace has burnt off so I think that's our problem so we'll just get a little bit of solder in there and we'll re-solder that okay so we'll get the Get some flux straight here. Yeah, I think everything else looks pretty decent. Just that trace is is severed. It's just like a crack. Just a crack. Just the, through the visual visual inspection. Everything else seems to be soldered on okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you can actually see that the these traces they go to different locations. It's going to like this processor. This is a processor right here. You can see all the legs, and 
this one that goes to this leg and this one that goes to the this leg and this one goes to some passive components before it goes to um, the processor. So either you have a bad processor, but you just can't get a new processor and you had unless you had a similar part you could do some swapping. I don't think that the processor would be bad because we do have this broken solder joint. So let's just re-solder this. I'm just gonna turn on the fan here. Just soldered that up. So since we found that there was a bad solder connection and we did fix that, I think I would just uh, give it a whirl, see if it works. Because there's a lot of glue on these components in there, and I, I did test out um, some of them, and they do look fine there so I would just reassemble give it a whirl see what happens okay thanks for watching this video hope it helped out if you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video